go and I'm back. It's right oh, here, TV. You know, I got the content. Okay, so check it out. Whack 100 reacts to Gucci Mane dropping everybody from 1017 except for Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano. Let's get to what? The it's Ray Gift TV. Gucci dropped this artist. Yeah, the link is in the chat. By Bapu Shiesty and Fujiana. But I heard that one of them is dead, right? Or no? Majority of them are dead. Two of them dead. dead. So he keep on one that's dead? How he keep on one that's dead? Well, the last two he got left on the way where they both still in here. Um. What about this other. Um, it's right here, TV. Empress, this one that you post is about a man going to jail. I mean, no girl oh, getting out of jail, the mom. Hold on. Oh, you do got audio. It is audio. Hold on. Here you go. I just seen like like my statement. My listen. I wanted to make this announcement on 1017 yesterday, but. I just seen like like my statement, my P and L with all my artists. You know, it's almost like a whole bunch of shake up, and it's a whole on the industry right now. But when I'm looking at my P and L and me being a businessman, I think that I'm gonna have to release almost all my artists except for Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano. This is a decision I didn't want to make. Um, I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I can keep all of them under the contract, but I said, hey that let's just make the you know the unselfish decision and you know let them take their talents elsewhere so today you know what i'm saying i already reached out to all of my artists you know what i'm saying from their to their lawyers and whatever and let them know that they're free to take their talents elsewhere and i'm still looking for new talent to pair up with you know what i'm saying poo and foo and that's where i'm gonna put my focus and i just wish them the best and i just want to let everybody know that because hey that's where we at Listen, I wanted to make this announcement on 1017 yesterday, but talking about um, I would think I'm about uh, Gucci, free pool shots. Yeah, Gucci. Correct. I, think, I mean, yes. food it ain't. Well, pool I think he kept pool shots. He in jail. Pool shots. But it's Luciano, the only artist he got that selling. Yeah, they he can recruit with them. Yeah, they probably performing. The rest of them. You know, shit. And, you know, he, he didn't gave all them niggas some money. He just cutting his losses. You know what I'm saying? He looking up. He like, all right, I gave him this. I gave him this. I got option of doing it again. But the contract said, if I do that, I got to give him this. I'm looking at what I did the last time and what they doing and not doing. So if a nigga million out and made back a hundred fifty thousand, what you think he gonna do? He's gonna drop him. Nigga, not, nigga ain't looking for the look. Nigga looking to get paid. That's what's going on. Full shiesty catalog is probably just still performing. How many niggas he has signed over there? I seen one dude. Uh, he got on the thing and said this was a blessing for him. This is what he been waiting on. And I think I seen all oh, this shit. And then right now they better use this as a light. People looking at him right now. Go do something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had a roster at eight. Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, Luciano, Hot Boy West, Ace and A, Hood Grish, Pablo Wine, and Bro Boy. And he only kept two of them. The big and Scar nigga like passed that. away. Oh, Big Scar, bro. And, and Chances passed away, too. Yeah, they ain't even less her, but yeah, he had her, too. I remember when he signed her. She was one of our clubhouse friends. Mm. 
Um, I don't see. Universal gonna drop about fifty artists if they ain't already did it. Yeah, I just we just ran that one. The Atlantic dropping fifty artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes you gotta <laughs> gotta restructure some shit. Yeah. Work yesterday don't necessarily mean it's gonna work today. That's a fact. Yeah, we were speaking about the uh, the temporary crazes that happened during the pandemic. Well, a lot of the artists are probably going to be dropped. I don't even think it's pandemic shit. I mean, they wasn't doing a lot of signing during that damn pandemic shit. The shit was shut down. There's going to be a lot of flagship artists dropped too. So there, he was talking about like the TikTok artists who got high during the pandemic and then when everything opened up, the label signed them and shit, thinking that they was going to be able to. Yeah, they probably get a one off on them. They didn't do nothing too crazy with them. But like, don't be surprised you start hearing flagship artists, Cardi B's, shit like that. So, what direction do you think the industry going? I don't think it's not, well. I think urban is down. Urban is urban is down, down, down. So Afro, Latin, country, all that shit is up. Um so this that division of it, but hip hop, we're doing too much. We got too many places to go. Motherfuckers is on social apps. Motherfuckers is on TikTok. Motherfuckers is on podcast. All kind of shit. Pod, you got a two-hour podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And the nigga is what they they was in the motherfucking interview, a meeting, and told me whack you came up. They said, "Listen, you got whack on the Adam and Whack show on Sunday." Right, and if it's an hour and a half, people are there not streaming. He said he has this thing on Clubhouse where it's open all day, every day. So if a motherfucker is there, they're not streaming. Right? He said it's too many places for people to go. So when the stream hit, when Spotify hit, and all the shit hit, boom. It was a new thing. Everybody was there. Now, people are like, okay, we can create this. We got an app doing this. We got this doing that, this doing that, this doing that. So instead of it being like three or four places to go when it comes to this shit, it's a hundred places a motherfucker could be. So you know where they might be over here streaming the music throughout the day? They're, they're elsewhere. You know I mean? Everybody want to be a podcaster. Everybody want to be a TikTok creator. Everybody want to be a rapper. Everybody want to be this. Like everybody want to. It's so many different. People. I mean, the content creation aspect is more lucrative than the rap aspect in this. Oh yeah, most definitely. I think that a lot of people want to see podcasts. They want to see relativity. They want to see people talking. They miss conversations. I think that that's what people are literally watching. They love streaming. They love watching Tyson Nights. They love watching speed, the speedies of them all. So I think they're the ones that's doing the, the podcasting is the popular ones now. The ones that's doing the content creating, the TikTok, YouTubes, and all of that stuff, like them kids and all of that stuff, the gamers. Those are really the popular people right now. It used to be a lot of artists. The game and Twitch and all that shit. Uh-huh. They're everywhere else. So now, if, if you're instead of it being five places people going, you got a hundred million people doing the same shit. Going to five different places. Okay, the numbers gonna be there. Right now, you got a hundred million people going to a hundred different places. The numbers gonna drop. It's gonna gain for the new places because they start mm-hmm. from zero. Right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh. 
but, but now like the streams is down on Spotify because everybody ain't there correct everybody's not there anymore it's like shit <laughs> and they don't get that much money that's what they said whack like people are not getting really paid on Spotify anymore well because oh. the volume ain't there right the volume is gone so when a nigga would have got to a million in a month it might take a nigga four months to get to a million and a million is only like four bands 4500 5200 with your publishing attached to it so um everything's changing everything's adjusting niggas ways of life gotta change and adjust unless you create different streams of revenue right that's like I thought Sassy Red was on top but when her album started it, her albums didn't sell like that and I think Little Baby just put out uh, 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 an album in it, and it didn't sell like that either who did I think Little Baby if I'm not mistaken I don't know. I don't know. Did he? I don't. Did he release something? Yeah. Let me go look at it again. He might got that confused with Dub Baby. Yeah, Little Baby. Oh, is it Dub Baby or Little Baby? Dub Baby ain't gonna do too much. What he do? Ten thousand? Ten, fifteen dollars? What he do? Oh yeah. Yeah, he killed him off with the um. Community the, the thing on stage, yeah. I didn't know the nigga dropped the album. All right, let's say uh, Rapper the Baby's new studio album, Baby on Baby 2, is reportedly to be sell 16 5 in its first week of release. That figures considerable drop from the previous solo effort in the 20s Blame It on Baby, which debuted on top the Billboard 200 and moved to 124,000 equivalent album equivalent units in its first week. This <laughs> <laughs> nigga went from 124 to 65. Dude, that was 2022, though. Now, yeah, but well, we're talking about currently. Yeah, now that Baby on Baby 2 was about 2022, huh? Nah, I said it's... Oh, yeah, 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 September 29, 2022. His last album... Yeah, his the last one was a big step. 17 2 his last number 2022 what's up with Google yeah oh my god I'm dead that nigga doing like 17% of what he used to do that nigga got a decline it's crazy and yeah. y'all got him looking for uh, the baby it's like he's out like supposed to his fan base yeah that's like what I'm saying I mean when they blackballed him they, just, they did they did it's not, no, it's not so blackballing though. No. You gotta do shit to, you know, entertain your audience over time. You can't just disappear. When you disappear making content. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about Gucci Mane dropping everybody from 1017 except for Pooh and Fujiano. I guess they the only ones really making noise. And uh, he looking for new talent. Y'all keep that notification bell turned on. The content is contenting for show for show. I will deliver 24 seven around the clock, you already know. And everybody out there that woke up today, be happy, be thankful. You get a crack at this thing we call life yet again. You feel me? I've got to keep it pushing. Take advantage of the day. Make the most of your day. Be proactive. Be productive. Apply yourself. If you want to be great, you dig. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. Ain't nothing free out here, man. You got to get up off your shoulders. Go get to a bag every day. Now, shout out to Clubhouse TV, Clubhouse Shenanigans, the Rumor Nighty Network, SJ, Got the Juice T. V, the Getty Radio Show, The Answer, Black Savage, No Capit, Murder Mitten, Cash Rules, everybody out. Y'all already know we gonna run it up then. You 
You feel me? But until next time, it's your boy Ray Gavin. I'm gone. God bless. Peace.